Next up, I'm going to be working and showing you how to assemble this floating pocket. It has lots of places to put tags and ephemera. So let's get started. So what we're going to uh, do is go through the things you'll need. You'll need an envelope. I chose a small card envelope, but you can choose whatever you would care to. You'll need four pieces of ephemera, and I try to choose varying sizes, and a one of them is going to be a vocal point for your sort of your collage, just kind of like what we're making for the front of it. So I like to do a large piece that can be a background piece, and then a couple of, uh, you know, supporting pieces that are a little bit smaller, and a vocal point something that is eye-catching. In these here, um, and this one over here, I used a photograph as the vocal point, but here I'm using this butterfly. The other thing that I like to do is I like to choose the ephemera that complements the colors in the journal I'm using if I know what I'm doing. Uh, and so I chose sort of this purplish color to kind of pull from in the journal that I'm making. And then for the back, I usually like to put down a plain piece of paper that can be journaled on, and I cut it just a little bit larger than my envelope, or excuse me, just a little bit smaller than my envelope, except for at the top, I add a little bit, because what I'm going to be doing is folding this under about a half inch, and this is going to form a pocket, so I want to reinforce that entry point there. And then, um, I do something to decorate the back eventually. So we're going to start, oh, and then you'll need, <laughs> you'll need about um, two or three strips of paper. It can be whatever paper you like. I have a coffee dyed digital print that I printed on both sides and about three fourths of an inch wide, the length of your paper, and I fold them in half. And so these are going to be the wings that kind of help your ephemera to flip. Since this is going to be a floating pocket, or it could be also be a pocket that you glue into a page if you care to, but I'm making mine into a floating pocket. So I'm going to seal the envelope up. And plus there's this glue here. Now you could make it a fold out envelope and not a pocket, but if you have this glue on the envelope inside there, you'll have to find a way to cover it so you, your um, envelope doesn't get glued shut on you. So there we go, we're just gonna glue the flap on down like so. And I'm going to put in my thumb notch at the top. Let's see here, make sure that glue is down there nicely and just a little thumb notch right up here on top like that now you don't have to do a thumb notch uh, but you can just do what i'm doing here all the way across and that is we're just going to cut off the very end of the paper there so that we can open this up for a pocket all right i'm going to choose this as my back and I'm going to do this as the front because this is what you'll see when you open up all of your uh, ephemeral pieces. And so the first thing I like to do is just sort of create the collage, you know, how I would like to see it. And so I do uh, two flips will be on this side and two flips will be on that side. So let's just see how I like this particular one. So yeah, I'm liking this pretty well. So we'll just take the pencil and put a really light, very light tick mark at the top of that card, a light tick mark at the top of that card. Put that one away, a light one right there. And this one is going to be on top of this card. I'm going to use I'm going to use this line in the postcard as my place so that I don't mark the postcard itself. 
So that just kind of gives you a guide and you may not even need to do that, but it does kind of help me. So now we're going to take um, our strips that we folded over and we're going to glue the strip. Make sure we're getting the edges. And we're going to lay our postcard down on top of it like so. Okay, and I see here I need to come down a little bit more. Kind of include this area. Alrighty. There. So that's going to create our wing. Like that. And we're going to take, fold it open a little bit. We're going to come here on the inside and put glue down. Now we're not going to go all the way to the fold. We're going to just be a little to the right of that. And I see my tick mark and I'm going to lay that right there by that tick mark. And I'm going to glue this down close to the fold but maybe just a little over and that gives this top card room to fold over without getting hung up now there will be a little overlap here and if you don't like that you can go ahead and get closer uh, you know this I just found this lays better when I have a little bit of room in there just a little bit so if you're working on the left, you want the fold to be on the left. And then if you're working on the right, you want the fold to be on the right. So let's just go ahead and finish this little guy out here. Like so. All right. Because if you do it the opposite way, um, it won't look as nice you'll end up seeing the, um, the paper on top of the postcard. So I was going to use that little line there as my guideline. All right, and I'm gonna come in here and just put that down. Okay, so it's assembled. I do have a couple of tips for you, and that is always start at the bottom. So you want to do your background. You'll want to put on uh, these two cards. You can put this one on and then this one if you want to, but these two go down next, and then this is the top card that's going to go on very last. So just make sure that they're built up like that. So probably this one, this one, this one, and this one okay and then another tip I have for you is that you do uh, have to have the fold on the outside but what might be helpful is to uh, measure out how you want how long the uh, wing need, needs to be and then uh, place it where it's it's eventually going to be and glue it on and then glue on your ephemera because you have to put it on the opposite side than you do on this side Right, so that might help you to keep it uh, a little bit more straight is to know that you already have it down and then you'll know where to put your, which side of the ephemera to put it on because this will go, everything goes on the right, everything goes on the left. All right, so those are just a couple of tips you might want to keep in mind. And so now we're just going to uh, take our backing piece of paper right here and I'm going to just glue down that little flap like I said before this is just to help shore up that little uh, area we're going to you might not need to if you have a heavyweight paper but um, I think this is only like 27 pounds or something so I go ahead and I do it and then we'll just uh, lay this down here like so and I see I really should have had a lighter tea stain here on the outside uh, rather than the darker would have probably been better and then I'm going to put in 
uh, another pocket. So I've just taken a piece where I've torn it out a little bit like that. And I'll just put it down like so. I'll just cover that up. And you know, that's kind of what we do sometime, right? I was going to put this pocket on anyways, but this way I can use it to cover up that darker. If this was a light color, it would have been better. So that was a bad choice of colors for me. And uh, so that becomes then a pocket. I'm going to wait till it dries before I cut it. And I can actually put probably another decorative strip down there on that side. So let me take a minute to do that. And so here's the project finished. I think I am going to put a little something on this top piece. I'm just going to put this little word down here. Adventure. I think that kind of goes with the, the butterfly and the map. So that's the little um, front. So you've got all these journaling uh, opportunities inside here you have a pocket then for the tag and in the back you have another pocket for another tag and then you have a little space for a journaling card here and you can make a pocket down here or on the side however uh, you may not want to even put a pocket down here so that is how it goes together and I plan to keep it together inside a page with this clip now if you really want a simplified way of putting these pieces of ephemera on, then use washi tape. And uh, But not everybody has washi tape, so I did it with the paper. But the washi tape does make very quick work of all of this. And the same rules apply that you start with the first layers and then you finish up with the outer layers, is to put your ephemera on cut it the size it needs to be and then glue it onto your um, envelope and you can get really close to the edge because washi tape has a stretch to it a little bit so um, it folds over nicely the only thing you may want to watch out for is that on the inside uh, the washi tape from this side you sometimes have like a sticky a sticky area area that might um, kind of, you kind of see so I put washi tape on the inside of the flips as well all right so that is really probably the easiest way to do this is with washi tape so thanks a bunch for viewing I appreciate you sticking with me and don't forget I am working on this journal next We'll probably do one more video on this and then we'll finish it up hopefully this uh, coming week. So thanks a lot and we will talk to you later.